bottom of the board. There we go. They've got uh, so dual side populator. They've got some shielding, surface mount shielding, Pico branded. Look at that. Wow, that's fancy pantsy. And uh, is that the main oscillator down there? 10 megahertz. That looks like it would be. And uh, yeah, all right. So obviously we've got a four front. This is a four channel. Yep, four channel scope with external trigger. And uh, can't see any converter. We've got a BGA package there. You can see the see the via footprint on the bottom. And a uh, bit of flux residue on the hand soldering. They haven't cleaned that. So on the BNC is the hand soldered stuff down there and uh, the DC power jack on the back. That's uh, but there's no shielding on that. They clearly don't need it. They're uh, just happy with the shielding on their front end. I thought this would be quite trivial. I thought the top plastic cover would just pop off. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I've got to unscrew the board. But now we're getting serious. Which means I have to take the front and back panels off. I'm trying not to break the tabs. That's the that's the thing. I might have it. These things went deep into the plastic. And maybe. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Actually, let me put this back like that. And then we'll flip that out. And we're in. Ta-da! Oh, they get hearts. cans. They've got cans on the front end. Love heart shaped cans. And love heart shaped, they are. Look at that. Is that deliberate? What have they done that for? Why have they got, and there, look at those BNCs. Maybe they knew you'd be opening it. <laughs> Check out the BNCs. Oh, they haven't seen, look, they're rounded. Look at those. They've got sexy little rounded ends on the back of them. That's unusual. Where do they get those from? Ah, Spartan 6, FPGA, there you go. So, yeah, it's got some DRAM hooked on there. And I don't know, I'd have to get my macro lens out to look at the individual converters. But uh, obviously got the trigger stuff around here. There's a reed relay. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure there are some 3D microscopes. We and there are plenty of 3D <laughs> microscopes around here. We could take it over to the, uh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? We could take it over and uh, have a look. How about we do that? <laughs> We're heading off to find a microscope. I think we should be able to find one in the train. Let's have a look. So I could get my macro lens out, but that's not nearly as much fun. So here we go. Oh, found one. Over there. Oh, what? No, no I, I really like this one here. All right, all right. This one's sexy. <laughs> can we? You can, you can buy it. Excellent. <laughs> this one is great. This one is, check out this. This is from a company called Tagano. Tagano. And it's a uh, 40, for, uh, 40 times zoom. And I've got foot pedal down here which allows me to zoom in and out on that. And that's 40 times, 40 times zoom. Look at that. Fantastic. And I can tilt this too. Hang on, it will auto focus and come back. Supposedly. Hang on, I might have to turn the... <laughs> oh, there we go, it's too much. Oh, there we go, it's too bright. So that will, there we go. And. Uh, we can have a look at the main chip. So what we've got, oh, hang on, here we go. I'll tell you what I think's on here at first pass. I, I've got my pointer here. Ha, ah, look at this. This is great. It's a HDMI output, uh, by the way. And the working distance, check out the working distance on this. It's, that's like 250 millimeters or something like that. It's crazy, do you know, what's the? 250. 250, I'll spot on, there you go, good guess, all right. So, <laughs> 250 millimeters, and uh, we've got a Spartan 6 FPGA. Uh, we don't have enough light, maybe. Can we? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well done. All right. First time I've used this. All right. So we've got ourselves a Spartan 6 FPGA with memory next to it, and obviously, 
This is the ADC because you can see four, it's a four channel unit, so you can see four differential amps, I'm guessing. So there are four amps, and that's, what number is that? Turned around the right way. It's ASD5020, so there's no manufacturer on that. But, uh, well, we can, oh, there we go. <laughs> zoom in. <laughs> you don't have to zoom in. It's, no, uh, there you go. Good. So that's the, I presume that's the main ADC. So, and I love these foot pedals, you can just operate. This is great. So, yeah, I'm assuming four amps coming out, or four uh, drivers for the uh, ADC drivers. Unfortunately, we can't get under the cans because they're all, uh, they're soldered on. But uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Don't know what's doing with the uh, love heart shaped uh, cutouts there because there's no adjustment pots underneath those so go figure but uh, for those playing along at home we have a Spartan 6 XC 6S LX 25 and there's E squared prom and what do we got here Cypress CY uh, not sure oh, that'd be the uh, USB driver I'm assuming dead giveaway when the uh, traces come out and uh, go into your USB there and there's our power supply from our DC input oh, loving this microscope I mean look at the zoom we can get on this this is ridiculous 250 millimeters working distance and 40 times zoom and the depth of field is pretty good too so very impressed by this more power supply around here that's all your trigger stuff. They've got a TX DAC. There we go. So that's setting your trigger level. Uh, or is this uh, one of those? No, this is a uh, signal gen. This is a. This model unit actually has a signal gen. So we've got an AD ninety seven forty four TX DAC generator, and uh, there's our output buffer amp there. LT. What else? Yeah. Nothing doing there, that's your external trigger, so that'll be like a comparator, something like that. More comparators in there, there's probably another DAC. And, uh, oh, that's it. Nothing else left. Unfortunately, we can't get inside the cans, but uh, there you go. That's just an impromptu teardown. Back over here, Daniel. The impromptu teardown of the uh, PicoScope 5443B. Beauty. Catch you next time.